If you fly on VATSIM on Microsoft Flight Simulator and you see other airplanes around you, no doubt you've probably gotten used to, and if not annoyed, by the generic planes that Microsoft Flight Simulator uses for the models of those aircraft. But did you know there's an easy and free way to get model matching in Microsoft Flight Simulator? That's right. Instead of these boring orange and yellow green looking default planes, you can actually have the real world liveries displayed in your sim and it's free and it's actually really easy. Model matching, as it's known, is when your simulator reads what type of aircraft and which airline is being displayed and then picks a model, a graphic representation of that plane and a livery to display in your simulator. A lot of other simulators have been able to do this for a while, including X-Plane and P3D, among others. But for a while, Microsoft Flight Simulator didn't really have anything. But the good news is there's an easy way to do this. Thanks to an open source piece of software called AIG Model Matching from Microsoft Flight Simulator. And today, I'm going to lead you through how to do this very easily on your own. Now, the first step is you're going to need to download some software. So you're going to want to go to the AIG Model Matching GitHub site. I'll have a link to that below this video because the URL is just way too long to remember. But you're going to go to the AIG GitHub website. Now, you, typically when you go to a GitHub site, you're probably already saying, okay, let me just download the copy of the files from GitHub, but actually you don't, I'm not even sure why, but anyway, if you scroll down in the instructions, you're going to see a link for a Google drive for a zipped file. The zip file includes all the models that you're going to need for the aircraft. It's about a four and a half gigabyte download. And then once you expand it, it'll go to about 35 gigabytes. So you will need enough space for the files. If you're saying, wait a minute, I remember somebody telling me I needed to get some sort of an installer and I had to download every single livery and every single model individually. That was a way, and it may still work that way, but this method is actually way faster. It includes all the models that are there. This is truly, really helpful and much easier. I know a lot of people struggled with model matching in their earlier days, especially when AIG came out. So if you're saying, wait a minute, I remember all this, but you have to download every single one. No, you don't have to do that anymore. This is way simpler. Now, I was worried this was going to take a long time, but it's actually really simple. Download the file, wait for it to download. Okay, once it's downloaded, the next step is take that zip file, move it into your community folder for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is where you put all your liveries and any add-ons that you download for the simulator. Put it in there and expand the file. Basically, unzip it and make sure it's there. And then after it's unzipped, you can delete the zip file. Once that's done, now you're good. Now you've got all the files in there that you're going to need. But... You need a way to have Microsoft Flight Simulator know that you've got those files there and simply putting it there is not going to do it. So the next step is you're going to open up your vPilot client. vPilot is, of course, the client that you're going to use to connect to Microsoft Flight Simulator and VATSIM. You've been using that already when you connect to VATSIM, so this should be pretty easy. Once you have vPilot open, click on settings in the top menu, and then you're going to click on model matching MSFS. You're actually going to expand that and you're looking for an option called custom rules. Click on that, and then click on add custom rule set, and then you're looking for this particular file called British AV Geeks AIG MSFS VATSIM rules.vmr. The VMR file is the magic sauce. It's what tells vPilot where all your special models are, and then once those models are there and it knows where it is, then it can tell Microsoft Flight Simulator, oh, this is an American, this is United, this is Orion Air, use this particular livery for it. Once you have that in there, you'll see it listed under installed custom rule sets in order of priority. You probably only have one thing in there right now, which is that, but if you have others, well, I don't know quite frankly what the order should be, but I just have one in there. Hit okay, restart vPilot, and that's it. Yes, it's that easy. Now load into the sim, find an airport that has some traffic around you, and it works pretty darn well. Now, in the situation in which there is a model that doesn't match, sometimes there's a particular aircraft or more likely a livery that there isn't a model for, it will default back to one of those generic Microsoft Flight Simulator looking things. If you want to change what the default one is, by the way, go back into vPilot and for model matching, there's an option there for if no suitable model matches there, pick which one to do it. By default, I think it's just the twin engine A320 that it picks from, but you can change that if you still choose from. I don't even bother messing with that quite frankly, but that's totally up to you. But it's really cool to have this because it makes a big difference being able to see other aircraft. Not only is it helpful and, and cool, just like, hey, look, it's a United. Hey, look, it's an American. But more importantly, when you're flying on VATSIM and air traffic control, especially on the ground, is telling you, hey, follow this United, follow this JetBlue, you have the right visual for it in order to see it. This is especially true in a situation where right now there's no nameplates above the aircraft that you can see 
So you're really reliant on visually being able to identify different aircraft. Something else that's a really good idea is to get rid of the default AI aircraft. If you fly with AI traffic where Microsoft Flight Simulator inserts planes in, that's fine. But if you're flying on VATSIM, it's actually a really bad idea because all it's going to do is just mess you up and confuse you more than likely and just get in your way of other real traffic you should be aware of. So a good idea is to go into the Microsoft Flight Simulator general options, click on traffic, and then you're going to be looking for aircraft traffic type, change it from whatever it is to off instead. And then one more thing you're going to want to do is go to airport life and then look for ground aircraft density and set that to zero. That way you're not going to get any default airplanes in there. You're not going to get any AI aircraft in there and you're good to go. And one last thing is make sure for the use generic plane models multiplayer, put that to off. I still have the AI traffic for on. It doesn't matter because I never use AI traffic, but if it was, I guess it would be there. But anyway, just make sure that is off. Now you're ready to play with VATSIM with the model matching on. So spawn in, connect to VATSIM, of course, using your vPilot client. And once it's working, by the way, in vPilot, it'll show you that the model matching is there. And then find some traffic. Easier said than done in some cases. But, you know, file around, try to figure out where there's traffic around you. It's probably easier to find it on the ground. But, you know, you can definitely see it working. And it's really cool to be able to see the models that are there. It's really incredible. And it adds such a different dimension to flying on VATSIM when you have the model matching working. So hopefully this tutorial gives you an idea of how to make this easily work for you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I think it's pretty simple, but obviously let me know if you have any issues there. And of course, any thoughts on how this works and what your results were. I hope a lot of people are able to enjoy VATSIM the way it's really intended to be with the true model matching working. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. And most importantly, please subscribe to our channel. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So that way we can get all sorts of fancy new features here on YouTube. It would really help me out a lot if you hit the subscribe button. Totally free to do so. And while you're down there, hit that little bell icon. That way YouTube lets you know when we have a brand new video to share. This has been Hotch Mania, and we'll talk again real soon.